anymore. <laughs> Second, she fucking takes me serious off a joke on Twitter. Get this. Remember when Nicolas Cage supposedly hit his wife? I fully, by the way, approve of that. <laughs> no, Dyke, if I was a lesbian, I swear to God, I'd pummel these bitches because they fucking don't know when to shut up. It's yap, yap, yap. Faggot, you're so fucking lucky you fuck dudes. <laughs> I know how annoying we are. So Nick Cage supposedly hit his wife and dog bailed him out. So I sent out a Twitter where I said, Nicholas Cage is bailed out by dog the bounty hunter for spousal abuse. That may be the biggest mess dog's gotten into since the last time he went down on Mrs. Dog the Bounty Hunter. I mean, cause come on. You know that shit has got to be horrible. You know, they provide moisture and they're very fucking horrifying and an odorous thing. And you know that her cunt, she had a very guy named Dog because her snatch tastes like Alpo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> Mrs. Dog sees the tweet, and I didn't mean no harm to her, and this is her response. She goes, wham. I guess you're lucky. It's Sunday. And I don't do no fighting on Jesus' day. I'm like, bitch, I'm a comedian, okay? I don't take a goddamn day off. And by the way, the only Jesus I know is the spick who stole my car, all right? because I'm really super nice, so I just tweeted back to her. I put back, come on, I'm just kidding, it was a harmless joke. And then she tried hitting me where I live. She goes, Ram, if it's a joke, try to make it funny. Yeah. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I am a woman of very few talents. <laughs> I ain't gonna win a beauty contest, and I'll never be named Weight Watcher Spokes Company Year. <laughs> the one thing I am is a funny fucking bitch. <laughs> I sent out a few more jokes, and I would like to read them for you, because they are fresh off the grill for Rochester, New York. Yeah. Hey, Mrs. Dog, what's in your fanny pack? Oh, that's not a fanny pack, it's your gut. <laughs> good thing the dog is good at finding convicts, because one thing you'll never find is your snatch. <laughs> hey, Mrs. Dog, you're born again. Hmm. Next time, try coming back as a woman. You look like Hulk Hogan in drag with a bigger penis. <laughs> See, that's funny shit for her. Telling you. God, oh. Okay, you, you guys stop taking that baby. I love him too. Has half a face. <laughs> yeah, he has a fucking phantom of the opera thing going, right? And also, he talks out of one of them computer boxes, which is hilarious, but can be very sexy. That's hell in the sack. Oh, don't me, please. <laughs> so I did a joke that Comedy Central said was too hot. You guys judge. I said, Jeffrey Ross is so ugly. Roger Ebert walked by him and said, two thumbs down. <laughs> That's the Rochester I know and love. Thank you, people. So you get it? You're cool. There's a couple other jokes Scott Van Zandro gets so annoyed with me. I'm like, fuck you, man. You know, we should be able to talk about whatever we want. It's freedom of speech. Who gives a shit? Oh my God. Also,
also, you know, now that I met Jimmy Big Balls, everybody was like, oh, is your comedy gonna get more safe? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm more angry and annoyed than I've ever fucking been in my goddamn life. <laughs> Put it this way, people come up to us. We were smart enough to get married when we were 50. This way, we're only gonna live 20 more years. <laughs> you fucking idiots who get married at 25, you have to stick together for 50 fucking years. 20 years with him seems like a goddamn stretch, and he's a nice guy, I'm just a real cunt, you know? <laughs> so we're 50, and get this back, people come up to us at this age, and they go, oh man, he just got me. <laughs> I got fucking menopause happening. I got night sweats, vaginal fucking problems. I'm getting more hormone therapy than Chaz Bono, for God's sake. I'm just gonna say, I love Chaz, but holy shit. Have you seen that beast lately? Jesus Christ. You know Cher's thinking, him out to turn back that hole. <laughs> Come on, most women get surgery to look like eye candy. Chaz got surgery, it looks like John Candy. <laughs> That's another thing Comedy Central censored me on. Okay, after that part of that joke, I have another part that they said was too much. Okay, I'll tell you guys that. Okay, I will screw this behind her back. Okay. So I say the John Candy joke, and then I go, hey, who would have thought Sonny crashing into that tree would be the second biggest tragedy in Cher's life? <laughs> That's cute, right? It's kind of adorable. <laughs> so Comedy Central says to me, oh, we can't put that on the air. And I'm like, why? There's no curse in it. There ain't no cunt in it. And I swear, they go, because you are implying that it's a tragedy to have a transgender child. <laughs> and I said, how dare you? I am not implying that. I am saying that. to have to tuck your penis into your ass with duct tape every single day. I do, and so do you, sir. <laughs> now, my black friends, I gotta tell you, I love my blacks. There's another joke. Oh, okay, you, you count as both of them, right? There's another joke they wouldn't let me do, but I'm not gonna offend my black friends. I will only do it. If you let me, sir, is it okay? Thank you, sir. Oh my God, you are what you call a good black. <laughs> Look how nice he's being, and it's not even February. That is fantastic. <laughs> okay, well, this is a really fucked up joke that they wouldn't put on TV, but I'll tell you guys. Okay, we got to get into my acting mode. <laughs> Piece of shit. 
Okay, wait, I gotta get back into my acting. This woman's clearly, clearly not trained in acting in the best way. Okay. <laughs> You know, I don't read the newspaper or uh, watch the news on TV because I find it very depressing. Did you guys hear that story about that chimp that tore up that lady? I know. That was horrible. Because that Rihanna was a beautiful girl. Is the black guy laughing? Yes, he is. Damn it, I see teeth and eyes, we're okay. <laughs> you guys are extremely fucked up, man. You have nothing. Can't offend you. Well, okay, so anyway, I was talking about people coming up to me and Jimmy saying, if we want kids, do you want kids? Oh, yes. We're going to have a whole fucking team of Special Olympic soccer players. <laughs> Fuck. Is that we adopted a little dog, which is fantastic. They require very little work. You let them shit all over the house and blame your husband. <laughs> we named him Parker after Sarah Jessica Parker. <laughs> because they're both ugly cute. <laughs> and here's the thing, I'm the best dog owner in the goddamn world. I know all the rules. I take this fucking dog, on the airplane with me, but I'm cool. I put it in the case, put it under the seat. Well, one fucking day, I'm on a flight, and by the way, stewardesses, remember when they had to be good looking and it was some sort of looks and weight requirement? Remember like on that movie, Catch Me If You Can? Now you can catch all the fucking stewardesses because they're fat, ugly cunts who want to get caught. I had two flight attendants that look like Shrek 1 and Shrek 2. <laughs> so I hate this phony Midwestern type of stewardesses who smiles even though they're calling you cunt in their head. She comes up to me and my dog, my poor little dog is barking. So this is before I discovered Benadryl, which you use on your children, and I applaud that greatly. My poor little dog's barking, so I put him on my lap in the bed and take his head out. His head's in. It's got a zipper right here, so he can't bark. He goes, that, that, that. Perfect solution. <laughs> Midwestern cunt stewardess comes up and she's like, yeah, you're gonna have to put the head away. <laughs> and I'm like, no, no, miss, please, please, just let him keep it out. Look, he can't bark, you know? <laughs> well, I'm negotiating with her. And the dick next to me figures it's his fucking conversation. And he don't know who the fuck he's sitting next to. <laughs> he figures, oh, who's this 50-year-old bitch with a dog and a gun? But no. I'll say what's what and don't interrupt my conversation. But she goes, you know, maybe you should put the head in. I said, uh, he says, why don't you just leave the fucking dog at home? Oh. Now, people, I'm Lisa fucking lamping out. For real. And you know what? I don't act, I react. So he says, why don't you put the fucking dog at home? I said, why don't you go fuck your mother? Sound good? Yeah, because I'm sure at one time Listen to your ugly kid or grandkid screaming on a plane when you should have stuffed them in that overhead compartment where they goddamn belong. <laughs> See, that's what you guys with kids have to do. Take them fucking kids. Put that in that overhead bin. And don't be afraid that they're going to get shook to death because if they're meant to live, they will. That's what's called survival of the fittest. <laughs> Shit. If that fucking skull stays in place, that's the new Einstein. If he's in the ground tomorrow, it ain't my fucking problem. Don't blame me. Okay, you guys aren't even moaning, killing of children. Wow, okay. I don't mean to sound 
prejudice against white fat cunts who throw peanuts at John a plane. But the best stewardesses ever are the homos. They are the best. First of all, they give you extra peanuts because they want you to get fat so they look better. Don't be hating. So, also fag stewardesses always tell you stories about the celebrities who are real cunts. So I go up to this guy and I go, hey, stewardess fag. <laughs> I don't know if you like that. Maybe I should have said stewardess aspiring. <laughs> Pickle kisser, log jammer, poop pusher, pillow bunger, Ryan Seacrest. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I go up to him and I said, hey, fag stewardess, who's the biggest cunt of a celebrity you ever waited on? He'll die. He goes, Julia. Didn't always suspect she had some evil going on behind that horse tooth grin of hers. <laughs> right? Mystic pizza, my left nut. That cunt hasn't eaten sugar or flour in 27 years. <laughs> so I said, tell me the story about Julia Roberts. And oh my God, he worked that aisle like a runway. <laughs> He's like, well. <laughs> one day, Julia Roberts. story in fifth position. One day she was on a flight and her dog was running around the plane. And I said, excuse me, please put your dog away. And she said, do you know who I am? And I said, yes, Miss Roberts. Now put your fucking dog. <laughs> I love when people give shit to celebrities. Fuck them. Don't you hate it that celebrities are where they are because of you and me as people, Woo! as fan members, and yet they don't sign no fucking autographs? Fuck you, motherfuckers. That's why you're on this earth, to sign an autograph. Hey, I force people. <laughs> fucking take my autograph and take my picture. I go up to people in the airport. I'm like, hey, you want a goddamn picture? They're like, no, 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 I have no camera. I'm like, bullshit, Kim Jong Il. Pull out that fucking camera. You goose always got something to take a picture. No, no, I have no camera. I'm like, bullshit, take out your iPhone 4 and take a picture. I want to be your wallpaper, Chin Bing Ling. Are there any Asians here? Because there's one in the back. One who's not at the Turning Stone Casino. I <laughs> love those numbers, names, and fucking chins. This is a good gig. I don't hate Rochester. I fucking love it. I like it. I like the worst gig ever one year ago. I did the fucking AVN Awards, which are the Adult Video Porn Awards. <laughs> the worst fucking day of my life because they sent me the, okay, first of all, I agreed to do the gig because Betty White wasn't available. <laughs> she was across town hosting the German fist fucking competition. I went. <laughs> you put that down too. You think I fucking can't see? It's a white iPhone, you dopey cunt. I see what the fuck is that? <laughs> Stupid as she. Very stealthy maneuver. <laughs> so anyway, so this guy decided to host the Xavier Awards and they sprint on me. I gotta host it with two porn bitches. Now, they send me the script. It is horrible. I rewrite it, but I leave no words for the porn bitches. <laughs> Just stand there and do what you do best, okay? Go, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> says, hey, no, no, you gotta let them talk. And I said, listen, man, I talk for a living. They gobble mom for a living. 